former Vanity Fair editor Tina Brown said the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's departure was a disaster all around. During an appearance on New York Times podcast Sway, she said the Queen needs Harry and Meghan to bring that star power and to be on the balcony at the Jubilee. Ames Brown added, I think that Harry is going to want to come back when the Queen dies to serve his country. And I think they will find a way to reel him in. And it's possible that Meghan, maybe they will have a commuter arrangement. I don't know. I don't see Meghan ever wanting to go back. She disliked England. Follow below for updates. Queen's Platinum Jubilee has been tarnished by attachment to Andrew. The Queen's Platinum Jubilee has been tarnished by the iniquity of Prince Andrew, a royal author has claimed. Clive Irving said what should have been a glorious unblemished celebration is now tarnished. Earlier this year Andrew reached a settlement with Virginia Roberts Jaffe, who accused him of sexually abusing her when she was 17. Last year, Ems Jaffe filed a lawsuit against the Duke. Prince Andrew's legal team sought to have the case dismissed, but in January 2022, Judge Kaplan denied the bid for dismissal and ruled that it should go to court. In February, the Duke came to an out-of-court agreement to pay more than £10 million including damages to Jaffa and a donation to her charity in support of victims' rights. William already showing qualities of a king. Prince William is at the most regal we have seen him as he attended the Anzau Day service, according to a body language expert. Darren Stanton said the Duke of Cambridge is already showing qualities of a king as he does what he expected of him whilst carrying out royal duties. William, who was dressed in a long black coat and strip tie, laid a wreath at the Cenotaph before attending the service at Westminster Abbey. Speaking on behalf of Slingo, Mr Stanton said, his body language and posture was military-like as he stood to attention in respect of the fallen soldiers. Naturally, he adopted a very solemn facial expression congruent with the nature and mood of the Remembrance Service and it was the most regal we have seen William conduct himself at a royal engagement. In pictures, Edward and Sophie visit Antigua and Barbuda. Prince Edward and Sophie, Countess of Wessex are on a one-week tour of the Caribbean to mark the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. The royals are touring Antigua and Barbuda, St. Lucia and St. Vincent and the Grenadines. On Monday they arrived in Antigua and Barbuda where they visited government house meeting locals, creatives and craftspeople. They also visited the National Sailing Academy in St. John's which offers people and especially children with disabilities the opportunity to get involved. Kate's surprise tribute to the fallen on Anzac Day. The Duchess of Cambridge made a surprise appearance at Westminster Abbey yesterday to mark Anzac Day. Kate was a late addition to the royal party, as it included the Duke of Cambridge, honouring Australia and New Zealand's war dead. In the white McQueen coat dress she wore to daughter Charlotte's christening in 2015, in set right, Kate, 40, and William, 39, joined Australian and New Zealand expatriates at the Abbey. Earlier he laid a wreath on behalf of the Queen at the Cenotaph, 107 years after First World War landings at Gallipoli left 36,000 Australians and New Zealanders killed or wounded. Thomas Markle hopes to meet R.